the identity of the Warcraft setting is, is hugely based in how it sounds, you know, and the humor of the creature responses, the ferocity of the monsters, uh, you know, just the ambience, uh, you know, of every zone, you're walking through Thousand Needles and kind of hearing the wind roar, or, you know, rolling through Swamp of the Sorrows, or, or, you know, Dust Wallow and hearing the, you know, the dripping critters out there in the swamp. Um, it really kind of creates a, a, a huge sense of, of immersion realism. The sound effects can tell those stories either right in front of you, they can do it from around a corner, uh, they might tell you something about a room before you even enter it. There's this kind of mid-level where the sounds uh, are meant to be noticed on occasion, but don't necessarily interact with you in any way. In the Burning Crusade, if you were to ask what makes sound, pretty much the entire game. I mean, you're looking at things that you don't see. You have ambience, you have music, you have monsters, you have little objects all over the world. All of these make sound, and until we get to them and make sound, it's a silent world. I think a great sound designer also is able to create sounds that people never even know they're hearing, because it yeah. blends in so perfectly with what's going on in the world, it doesn't stand out, and it just becomes, that's what that object sounds like. A sound designer is responsible for creating all aspects of the game with sound. Anything that's silent, we put sounds on it. Sonically bringing the world to life. With today's technology, it allows sound designers just to go everywhere. I mean, we can we can take almost anything and make something out of it. You yeah, know, scraping metal absolutely. and turn it into like a gushing wind blowing butt or something. And that's the most attractive aspect, I think, of sound design is this ability to take sounds that most people wouldn't normally consider as being whatever it is that they're experiencing or looking at and, and you're layering all these things and making something out of them that's that's completely different. We'll often do it here at the office in our studios or we'll go to a big Foley house in Hollywood and uh, someone who has a really great room full of Foley props so that we can have lots of stuff to, to use and we'll have a huge list of, of things that we need to get and uh, we'll basically spend the whole day there just making noise. We usually go out and find some interesting place to record, uh, or we have a preconceived notion of something we, we need in the game, and we'll need to grab source effects for it, so we'll do some research sometimes. That becomes necessary if, if we need something that's really hard to find. And th then we'll just take a road trip, or hop on a plane, or just go down the street and and uh, record some stuff out in the field somewhere that we're, we're going to bring back and manipulate in some way. Uh, we've had the opportunity to, to, to work with some really amazing animals, including lions and tigers and bears. Did Joseph talk to you about the pigs? He talked to me about the pigs. I filmed him with Did the you pigs. film him recording the pigs? I filmed Joseph recording the pigs. I think uh, definitely this time around with sound effects in the game, uh, we've just added so much more. I think the content overall in the Burning Crusade makes up a soundtrack that goes beyond what you would ever imagine. I think people will really be surprised with you know the sound effects that we've really put into making this come to life.